Hello pals, welcome to Spider-Man part 13, I'm Faint Spirit, and we're going to just crack on, there yeah, oh, let's do this, let's crack on with the story, oh I want to do that person mission but I just want to, we'll get to the story first, <coughs> we're going to see about aren't we? <clears throat> My voice is going a bit again, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me, but I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. Hey, say it. I should check out Lee's office. Say he's a nice boy. Huh? Oh, yeah. Beans. Glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Don't feel safe in here. Run the back road. I see. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Oh yeah, that's good to do, isn't it? seen that room before. Mm. What is going on over there? I'm just running down. Whoa, what the? High voltage lines. What needs this much power? There. Mm. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know where else it is. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. Oh, yeah. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? Mm. Can't press anything on it. Uh, is there a key? Looks like this note is for May. Uh, don't need to read that. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Well, I'd rather do that than read his journal. I'm not going to put anything. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. Hmm. That seems right. Oh, I see. No, I don't get it.
is this? If I do this, mm. Obviously, don't get it. Yes. That made me jump. <laughs> wow. Okay. What are you hiding, Lee? Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Maybe. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. Oh. Need to overload those junction boxes. I can't see a little one. Is there? giving his powers to the others. Okay, through the... How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Uh, that's cool. Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon until he became one. Ooh. Now, how do I get out of here? Guess I ever able to even work.
Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I didn't get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. At an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they plan next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Has he figured it out? I don't think so. Do you never know? Wait, wait, wait! Three thousand XP. Wait, why not there a, a person mission around there and kill us? Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. Mm. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more, but I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Uh, what should I cook? Well, it's tasty. Uh, let's do this people mission. Oh, hi doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Um, okay. Uh, be right there. Let's do this side with Howard. You. Long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, we zoned for commercial. We had to move into feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all. You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? Oh, okay, so it's a, it's an ongoing mission. I can do that. You 
do that? Of course I can. Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Well done. Fine. Sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. I'd expect nothing less. And let me stress, what this is, is in no way replacing our brave officers of the law. Just augmenting it in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here so I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. And a fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising me to get some rest now, so if you don't mind. Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared, did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. I don't care who else is using it. Don't care. Call the pigeon, catch the pigeon, catch the pigeon. Catch that pigeon now. Hey, Howard, think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex, might have just left a stain on my suit. Clarence, guy's a little devil, but he's a chopper. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards me. Boss. This is only 12 to get. Not too bad. Um, say what he wants. Flash regard. Yeah. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Mm. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, We've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Do 
Ready? Everything okay? Hmm. Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that, and well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Where is it now? I think to one of these for a while. So how is this supposed to work? Like an alternate way? Do this. Or do this. So Hey, 
It's better spot I was thinking of us. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? We did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. <laughs> Oh. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Right. You know what? We're gonna end it there, guys. So please like and subscribe, and I'll see you pals in the next one. Bye bye.